welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, absent a few videos, uh, we were doing some stuff at the farm. We do want to continue to do that, but at the moment we've been digging at Madura Pines. So you might have seen a few stuff on social media talking about uh, Majurassic Park. Basically, it's a local public trails that are open all the time, and they were built about six years ago and weren't really finished properly and then no one was really interested in them and they got kind of left for a while. Um, so I kind of contacted Madura at the end of last year and basically asked them if I can take over, if I can start fixing the stuff up, start building new lines and that's basically what we've done. I got an amazing group of people to help me um, and since then we've fixed up the main line, we've got another tabletop line for the kids and basically just a whole lot of sick stuff here. So. I thought I'd do a video showing what we've done so far and if you guys are interested I can keep showing you everything. Um, and yeah, you can also follow Mad Jurassic Park on Instagram. We're almost at a thousand followers which is pretty sick. And yeah, show you what we've done and a little bit of the clips from us riding. So. We've got our snacks for the day on a sick little table that I found. We've got our garden, pretty recent addition. A couple things growing here, some grass. Got our awesome water tank up here that the park people supplied us with. So we fill this up every month. We've got heaps of water to go around with. Okay. So we've got our roll in. This is the main spot. From up here you've got a few options. You've got a nice flowy small line there. You've got a little tabletop line for the kids. Medium tabletop line. Big lines here. So the tabletop line is a pretty recent addition. We've made for everyone kind of looking to progress. Eventually we're going to make this the tabletop line. So shape them up, rebuild them. Make this a double line, still quite small, still rollable but a great progression so you can go from there to there to the big ones. So you've got a sick little roller, little table, pretty sick, another tabletop, a little bit bigger. Another table. Long one. Little boom. Boom to tabletop sort of thingy. There we are. And then the final one, which is a little hippie, quite steep actually. Um, this one gets chopped away by the everyone running off the sides though. Bit of a reshape is needed. Anyways, that is the tabletop line. Great for practicing for everyone that hasn't done a lot of jumps before. So yeah, that's the tabletop line. Anyone that hasn't really done a lot of dirt jumps before, great starter because you can just roll through them. Um, it's kind of the Basically where I want to go with this place is to have a line for everyone and have a line that everyone can progress to. So that's the goal. And run into the big line, little roller. Another little roller which I'm actually building up on the side just to make it a real vert on one side. Just for shits and giggles. This line I'll show you later but it's going into a big mulch lander. So, little tabletop hip, kind of depends where you want to go with this line and see how you hit this but yeah I'm vlogging so yeah, you can kind of hit this how you want it's really cool so you got the two options here now the main line which is the right over there the left is our new line come on so first double see Lewis hit it now really fun goes into a hip this one's really cool Why you use the bridge? I use the bridge. Oh yeah, it's, it's better than your bridge. Hey! So it's got a nice big lander. You can kind of pick and choose with that hip how big you want to go. You can cut it really short on the inside and then also go quite wide on the outside, so that's cool. So we've got a sick little roller after the hip into the third one, which is a really good one for practicing tricks. And then you've got the berm. 
we've got my little bridge. So a nice big trick jump, boom. And then you've got another roller. We'll see if Jimmy does a trick on it. He's pretty cool. So after the boom, you've got a roller, and you got this little spine that we've created. So essentially a spine to step down. See if Lewis hits it. Yeah. Over the log. This spine, you can kind of just spine the top super airy, or you can pump it, or you can jump the whole thing. Um, pretty much you can do anything you want on that. Jump the whole thing, pump down it, manual down it, just hit the spine, really anything. She leads you into the final one on this line. Here's the hitching post. Hitching post, super sick. Um, really cool. Um, Talented, brilliant, incredible, amazing, show-stopping, spectacular, never the same, totally unique, completely not ever been done before. Um, it's the first kind of thing that I've ever foot planted, so that was really sick. And yeah, it's a really cool one. And really, really sturdy. You can give it a little, little Jonesy knock. Which is solid. So that is the main line. Those three we session a lot, they're really great. Um, had so many people like this being their first dirt jumps to hit, uh, which is really cool. And I think they're great ones to learn on. You do have to work, they're not like super easy ones where you don't have to do anything in the air, like you do have to make adjustments. But I think it's done really well, so. I don't like that the transfer here. So that's the first one and the main one. So just go here, I was just doing some resurfacing on it. So it goes down here, you got it nice and long and low. Just goes into a little roller step down. Time to get some speed. The new one which we've just finished. This is the biggest, biggest amount of air time you get. It's this one right here. It's pretty sick. You can also do a little transfer from there to there. And it goes into our new berm, which we've just made. So, it's a nice big, big old berm. So where we were when we... St still packing in. But as you can see, pretty smick. It's going to go into a nice little roller. And then, I think I'm going to do two alternate lines here. Not sure yet. See, it's really sick. So you got a double berm. You got the berm from the main line here, new one here. Got our awesome pit here. We got the best clay ever, like proper proper clay. We we're thinking of actually making this into a little quarter. So you roll in from there, big old trick quarter. But it's very hard to dig down much deeper. So who knows? We got our second water crate that we just got delivered. She's empty at the moment. A little bit of shelter. Not sure what we're doing here yet. We've got the makings of a new jump, which is quite big. And I'll show you where this line starts. So you transfer from there to there. Essentially a full hip. Landed there. Roller. We've got the first double. So roller. First gap. Nice lofty one. And to be continued. Here we've got big long run in. To a little gap into a pit. And then we're putting in a ramp for a nice big mulch jump. So it's going to be a ramp in here. Big high high step up landing with mulch for tricks essentially. So pretty much to practice tricks we'll be here. So that's the gist of what's going on at the moment at Mad Jurassic. Um, really stoked to have the freedom to work here. Um, so thanks to the parks people and everyone at Majura who's, you know, given me, you know, the opportunity to do this. It's really sick. And uh, thanks to everyone that's helped. There's so many people, like honestly, so many. 
wouldn't even be close to possible um, without them so wouldn't even be close to possible without all the people that have come and helped like honestly the team is so sick Yoo! easy so I just hit a jump but yeah so sick um yeah again you can follow us on instagram um at jurassic park and all that kind of thing to see the updates but yeah if you guys are keen on this stuff seeing more updates because we're building literally every day here let me know and we can i can film more post more whatever mm -hmm.